Hey, are you a TC and feeling like you're missing something with your transaction management software? Well, you're not alone and you totally are because us as business owners need to take care of more than just our transaction management process. We have lead generation, we have billing, payroll, all of these other things that these software don't do great at. Even our personal or just tasks that are outside of the normal transaction management task templates, um, we need a place to store everything all in one place. And that's the solution I have found in ClickUp. It is so flexible and allows you to put your data any way that you'd like. Uh, so I want to show you a few of my favorite ClickUp features and the reason why I feel like it is different than anything else out there, I have tried many different, very similar software, and it was always lacking in one piece. So I will go ahead and go on in, and I hope that this is helpful and gets you started on your journey to putting your business together. Talk soon. I will start in the spaces. So um, spaces are basically, you have a bunch of data here. I'm not gonna overwhelm you with the amount of stuff that I have here, um, but to put it simply, I've got a space for my team communications. This is where task management happens. This is where we spend a lot of our time. Um, and then we have uh, everything about the business. So think about these here as divisions in my company. So this is like payroll and all of the business backend stuff. And uh, this is all of the sales. This is gonna go through, you know, the leads, clients, um, technology is our websites, our, um, all of the backend tools, like learning new tools and doing things like that. Um, marketing, our, mar our Facebook, YouTube, all of that stuff here. Community that is for uh, the membership sites or uh, different Facebook groups, our, our community work basically. Um, and then software setup. This is where all of my setup stuff happens for, you know, open to close Airtable, every, all of our actual setup stuff happens here. So, um, I'm just going to dive into um, something that I'm building here just to give you an example, a few examples of, of how you can use ClickUp. Um, so I've got this that I'm actually building out a CRM for transaction coordinators. So within this space, we're going to have all the things that we, um, we would need for uh, lead generation. That's what this focus is. So um, what I love about ClickUp is that you can view your data in so many different ways. So let's just dive into this uh, Techie TC CRM. Um, I am able to create different views for the data that I have in this list. So much like a table of a virtual whiteboard and Excel spreadsheet, um, we're able to put our tasks that way, except with this, we're able to add subtask. This, that, and even add subtasks to that. This, that. Um, and you could keep going with those subtasks. I think uh, there's a setting, you can go like up to seven or something like that. So you can really layer these things to see your stuff in a, a, a very clean way. Um, so we've got all of these different views for the data. So this one here in particular is just an introduction to this folder. So you're able to have an entire document that outlines a specific process or your space so that your team knows exactly what they're doing um, when they come in here. Um, there is also a board view, which is much like a Kanban view that you can move things around to where you need to. You can have this show as much information about this card as you'd like uh, by customizing that. And I'll actually jump into this here to show you some more view options. Um, the SOPs, um, I keep all of my processes in here. My team comes in here and this is where they have 
if they need to know something or the next step, or they need to, a refresher on a specific process, all of my SOPs are in here. So I'm going to jump into an SOP. This is a table view, unlike that list view we were just looking at. This helps you kind of see more data in, in one place, while this list view makes it a little more clunky, but it, it's also kind of easier to navigate and, and see. So um, that is the uh, table view, which is also available. I actually, I mean, I meant to come in here anyway. So you can customize all of these different columns and really um, dial in on, on what these look like. So you can filter these out to show a specific um, set of information. And of course, you can create view after view in this table type and pin the ones that are important. Um, and you can also do a whiteboard. So whiteboard, just like you would, you know, the whiteboard behind me plan out an entire process. Um, you can do the very same thing here in ClickUp. You're just dragging and dropping these different squares, recoloring them. Um, and there is writing on there. There it is. Um, so this is me mapping out my inspection process. Um, what happens, you know, these are the three different scenarios. So this is great for training and, and visually seeing your process and planning that out. Um, these are the other views that they have available. So we talked about the list. Um, you can show everything in a calendar. Um, you can, if you're, if you're a Gantt view person, I don't think our work or uh, what we do is it really needs this Gantt view or uh, even the timeline, I don't really use it. You can have boxes, which is basically like cards and boxes and you can see um, a, a little bit more data. You can do an actual mind map while you're seeing the whiteboard in the back. If you wanted to do an actual build out of a mind map, you can do that. Um, the workload, see exactly where your team is on workload, uh, the activity that's going on on among your team, um, a, a specific map. If you work in multiple states, you can pin things and see all of this stuff, all of your clients in a specific map area. Um, and uh, the whiteboard view we talked about, the document view we talked about, we can create a chat view where we just have um, just a chat board here for your team. Um, you are allowed guests, so you could invite clients to it. I personally don't do that because I use it in a very different way. Um, and then we were almost done here. Uh, you can embed just about anything. So if you had a Google spreadsheet that you wanted easy access to here, you could do that. You can embed videos. You can embed anything that has an embed code. So the the it's absolutely limitless what you can add here. Um, and then a form view, which is awesome. Um, you can have a form with a link. You can put it on your site. You can put it wherever. And your team or your clients, they fill out that form and it'll create a record into whatever list you, you add that form to. So you also have, you know, that form that connects right away, right into this. I will go into the capabilities with the formatting of your text. So this introduction, I have one of these documents in every one of my spaces for my team to know exactly what is going on here. And it breaks down what, you know, the hierarchy and, and the structure and what different views we have and how to use them. And as you can see, I have used a, a banner here um, and that makes it blue. There is a yellow, green, and red banner as well that you can do use to break up your uh, information, spruce it up a little bit. Um, and bullets, bold, oh, I didn't mean, uh, checkboxes, you can see there, you can do checkboxes, and I'm gonna undo all of this, okay? Um, you can do uh, a toggle list, they just toggle it open and they can go to uh, more detailed. Um, you can have, this is, these are columns, but you can also put a table in here if you wanted to. Um, but these are just columns and I've used those banners to break up that information. So, um, you can just copy and paste so you can jump to specific links. Um, 
and there's a lot more flexibility. Let me just, it's a forward slash that goes to those commands. So um, you have all of these options, checklists. We talked about all of these. You can apply a template. You can apply it. Uh, you can add a task or a table from your from anywhere in ClickUp. You can just embed it here. Um, headings, you're going to have the heading one, heading two, heading three, or a normal text. Um, numbering lists, banners. Um, you can do a custom code. Again, if you have these custom, the, the codes that like, let's just say you have a jot form form that you want to embed here, you could do that. Um, and, uh, you know, quote marks. So if you're quoting something, you can have that stand out. You can mention a person. So you can at mention anyone in your team from anywhere in here um, to bring that attention and all of the notifications show up in your little home where people usually start. Um, you can uh, mention a task, a page, so you can really, and then these are all of the embeds. You can embed anything there, or you can bring in your custom code. So you can embed a, a, a website, just adding that link, or you can add your own code. Um, there's a lot of options and I've, I haven't seen, this is just highlights, this is font colors. I just haven't seen the um, capabilities in other like software um that ClickUp has um the flexibility is absolutely amazing you can add a button here if you wanted to so it's all of these are you can use them in these documents but you can also use them within tasks so if you're in a task and you see the description here you can add all of that to the description any one of those forward commands, and then let's do a uh, red. So you can have, you can build out a pretty big description here with whatever you need, create it as a template, reapply that template for every time you create a new task. And then from this view here, if you hover over, it's going to show you what that description is. So at a glance, you can have this information without having to click in and do anything. So the, the ability to see that data pretty quickly is awesome. And then the formatting, which I just need to refresh here, that one that I added there, you can have all of those details and it just scrolls and scrolls and scrolls. So um, I think that part is so cool. Uh, you can do that in the description. You can use those slash commands in uh, the comments here. Um, and you can comment back and forth and at mention your team and stuff um, or just leave little notes. Um, and then let me just move this over here. You can also email from ClickUp. So you can choose from, um, so you can just type this out here. You can, if this person, see how this one said, it has an email field in this task. So it just, you know, suggested emails. You could send this to just about anyone, your team, whatever you want to do. Uh, but you can send an email from here. You can add an auto uh, signature and you can even go with templates. So you can go in here and see, you know, OTC set up follow-up. Um, and I can go ahead and send this to this client from right here. It'll log it in the comments here. So you can see when you sent what it's really, really cool. I'm just scratching the surface and it's, um, it's been almost 15 minutes now. So I'll wrap this up. Another thing that I love about ClickUp is the pricing. I mean, it, it, it beats everything else out there. Uh, I think it's, they have a forever free plan. You're, not going to see some of those views and some advanced features. I think even like storing email templates may be something that you want to um, upgrade to the next one up, which I think is like $5 a month. And then the next one up is like 15. I recommend the business. Uh, that's going to give you all the flexibility, all the features that you need. I haven't run into any pop-ups that said, oh, you need to upgrade for this. And that's something you're going to see a lot if you do decide to uh, start with the free and work your way up. So you'll be able to just work your way up from the free plan and uh, kind of go from there, just 
play around in it, you know, start building things out. It's super powerful. And it, it really allowed me finally to like get a grasp on my planning and, and projects and things that I was trying to, you know, I had in my head, but I needed to put it down somewhere. And this is the all in one when it comes to a business manager. This is everything that you could possibly need. Um, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm happy to dive a little deeper on this. If we wanted to do like a quick 30 minute hour, like, hey, let's get started and play around with it. Zoom meeting type thing. I'm totally down with that too. So maybe in the next couple of weeks, we can um, get together and, and see if this is something that's good for you. All right. Bye. Thanks for joining me. If you find any value in my content, be sure to like and subscribe. It'll get in front of more people and you'll get notifications when I post more videos. If you need any help with software, systems, tools, feel free to go onto my website, www.tcoptimize.com, and I am happy to help any way that I can. I'll see you next time.